here, I think I can just play with all these warmer values and group it, right? So I think I have too many shapes here and I want to go back to grouping a little bit. And sometimes the initial the initial strokes you have is the best. And I think I've lost that, okay? So I need to sort of refine it back. It happens all the time to me. So if it happens to you, don't freak out. It happens all the time to me when I'm planar painting. Um, it's almost like you find the best strokes in the beginning and then and then the whole game is to find it back because you probably end up losing it when you overthink things, right? Um, maybe I'll smudge, you know, here. But you see how sometimes I'm picking up on the light stuff, right? So I kind of don't want that. Um, so I'm just smudging again to group. I think there's a way to adjust it like this where, yeah, okay. So here, if you bring it down, it won't drag as much of the color, I think. Okay. Um, here, I just want to end and get some sort of juicy, juicy, um, I'm not sure. Nope. Need to lighten because it's not contrast enough. How do I get those slight juicy like things right there, right? Maybe pushing it to the lemons a little bit and just adding that stroke. Sometimes it just takes one note, right? To get that sort of translucency. Um, oh, I didn't paint my seed. Um, so here, maybe I'll paint the seed and I'll just bring it a value darker. Oh, wow, too dark to get the... And then lighter, right? Just a light and shadow. You know, when in doubt and you're not sure, overthink. Don't overthink, sorry. Just look at the light and shadow. Um, uh, um, interactions with each other, right? Um, here, I haven't really worked on this orange because I kind of got these strokes that I think I kind of enjoy and I don't want to almost overwork it a little bit. Um, maybe I'm going to get a gradient here, so I'm just going to push it lighter, desaturated, maybe just get a... But I almost... Don't. Okay, so can you see how I'm I'm just I'm just adjusting the value or the saturation a lot of time to get get the the increment that I need, right? Um, you know what it is I need to fit I need to fix um this bowl looks like it's uh wonky. I need to just redo this whole whole freaking uh arc thing and get the try to get just the right amount of arc in the right places so that it will just give give the illusion of that. Um, I hate painting artificial things, so it's always annoying, but fun. Uh, here, uh, sometimes, oh, what's this tool? I don't know. Oh, I don't know what that tool, Fill Halo. Sometimes uh, this tool is quite nice too. Um, where is it? Fill Gradient, what is that? Is it this one? Interesting. Sometimes a fill gradient is nice, so I can sort of, although it's not really doing what I'm doing. Um, sometimes I, I like to use, what's this? Oh, this might be nice actually to get the, the hard edge. So, you know, just playing around a little bit. Sometimes um, um, I like to use this, Oh, this one, this one's the one I wanted. So this is the nice one where this is great for like, if you want to get like more subtlety in, in certain places, right? It will take the color and you can almost just even out some light. So you see, you can almost just, it's like kind of blending, right? So I can start evening uh, almost get, and I can create a harder edge in some places. So this is quite nice. I like to use it for mountains sometimes. Um, Maybe here I want to, you know, push the, push that a little bit there. Um, maybe here I just want to get a slightly lighter value, almost, almost there. I just want to push that reflected light just a little bit um, there as well, <clears throat> as well. And then actually this would be great for using this right here. I can get it. I just keep redoing it and redoing it till I get that nice sort of subtle subtle shift. Oops, that's not. Um, sometimes you need to darken the value slightly because it will just, uh, it can be a little too much right now, but it's a nice way to sort of incrementally 
um, get that, right? I haven't told you guys to use it. Um, some of you, yes, some of you know, um, but that's how I would, that's how I would, I would do that. Um, I don't like this color here. I think I'm going to actually um, go and put, just sort of offset it with some greens. I think it's too warm for some reason. But the but here, I actually want to use this to actually pop. No, what am I doing? Oh, I'm sorry, darken. And maybe I can, oh, maybe. I'm just trying to pop it really, really subtly, just right underneath. You can see how you get a really nice contrast right there. And I'm just doing it at the edge, the edge of it, and sort of doing that again and again there. Here, it's great to get that as well. Maybe that's too light, too dark. So I'm totally, totally saying things the opposite. It's too early in the morning um, here. So I can, I'm just, that's a great way to actually, and I just discovered this. So actually, that's a great way to just sort of pop contrast a little bit, right? Um, here, you can even use this, you know, maybe this, and you're going to have to make it a lighter value, but maybe now you can start, you see, adding some of that there. And it just creates these really nice shapes. Um, these really nice sort of uh, gradient shapes. I can drag the warmer color, but it, it gives the opacity, right? And that's how you can get some really cool blends, some in-between blends uh, here as well. Maybe I can add some subtle detail there. Maybe, oh, this tool might be good to finally maybe just try this one last damn time to see if I can get a line that I want. <laughs> and I can't rotate this, so my arm is like in a really weird thing right now. Um, so maybe that's better, tapering it like that, and then maybe just just getting at the the edge there a little bit okay um i need to just continue it's a great way to shape things too um and then it's a great way to just increment this is what i'll just incrementally shift value i'll keep it in the same temperature and i'll shift the value slightly lighter to get like that sheen that you want right right here slightly it's all about those slight color shifts where you can go oh okay um sorry slight value shifts right so i talk about temperature shifts but i'm also talking about value you can get those really nice subtle just just popping in a little bit lighter um even here really subtle reflections here um, just dragging it down, right? You can break up, you're essentially just breaking up that shape just a little bit, right? Um, and honestly, I just want to smudge this. Um, can't tell you why. I just want to, I just want to let this whole edge go down like this. Eh, not that much, but maybe just find like a happy medium and just find just ch ch sometimes it helps with sound effects to sort of get that, you know, maybe just bringing an artistic edge down like that, even though it doesn't make sense, but you're just carrying some of the color down. Um, but yeah, um, you know, I think that would quite about do it for a study. Um, you know, one hour max would, would fine, maybe a little bit more, but um, I think this is uh this is how I approach it, right? So thinking about not just technique, but how um why why I'm using each tool, right? And how I'm using them to the best of oops uh, to the best advantage that I can to um, get the edges, the co the combo of color notes that I want, um and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. Awesome. Very much so. Okay. Um, cool. I'll go ahead and save this. Um, I'll upload the Zoom recording later today. Um, and uh, so you guys will have access to the final of this and the Zoom recording. You can I'll save all these guys. It's for, for you to keep. Um, so, you know, don't worry about that. I mean, make sure you do that. Uh, any last questions, guys, before we end? Mm. No, did it all make sense? Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I have one. Mm -hmm. um, 
So like in the very beginning when you made um like the whole canvas orange and very warm, did you do that so that like the painting you can maintain that warmth like, throughout your whole process? Uh yeah, pretty much. I do that um okay. I do that so like you see these warms underneath. It just it like helps just like let it seep through. I kept this, the tone, I'm pretty sure. Like I didn't even touch that. And even though it's not there, I kind of like it there. Like I leave parts of it there. Um, and, and yes, it does. Um, it, it just, I do that, you know, you can tone it any color you want. You can try with the blue and see how that interacts. It sort of gives a nice challenge for you to see how colors start interacting with whatever base you have, uh, versus just a white. Right. So, um, so, so for example, if you, start with a cooler tone, you can see how, you know, maybe those colors, but if you start with a cooler tone, you'll see colors you put down, it'll be like, whoa, that's not what I thought it was. Versus a warmer tone you put down, you know, um, you know, like maybe something that you think is a lot, you know, pretty warm, but it looks kind of cool compared to the warm tone that you have. Colors will totally take on a, a whole new thing, right? Um, what, you know, depending on even how you start. So, um, that's just something to, to, uh, to, to, to play around with. And actually that might be a good challenge to have you guys do, you know, maybe uh, start off with like a blue tone. I had a, a friend who was a pastel artist and he started off with like crazy, like magenta, teal, blue. And it's just sort of like, you know, training your mind to, 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 uh, to react to the different kind of things and observing how the color works that way. Um, yeah, good question. Got it. Thanks. Uh huh. Any other questions, guys? Um, I have one. Mm -hmm. Um, you mentioned a lot about grouping the colors. What does it mean actually? Grouping. Like, so, like for example, um, you know, like here, I'm grouping. You know, if I turn it black and white, right? They're all pretty much the same value, but uh, I'm, okay. but I'm, I'm pretty much grouping this all in one value, right? So, um, so when I say that, sometimes I'll, I'll just, I'll be, I will be grouping, you know, the shadow, for example, in one big shape, right? Grouping shapes, but also grouping values. There's kind of two different things. Um, so you can group, you know, a shape together within that shape. Oops. I have, you know, subtle temperature shifts, but I'm making sure that it's more or less the same value, right? Um, I'm grouping, you know, um, the, sh the, sh the, the shadow side here into one shape, the light side into another shape. Uh, and, but within that, I can push color temperatures of warmer and cool, right? That's what I told some of you guys. Um, you know, that's, that's basically my trick. That's all. When I, once I establish, you know, a good arrangement of light and dark shapes or, you know, and knowing where my shadow is, I will just start slowing down and, and seeing how I can, how I can push that, right? Like here, I think the contrast is actually too much. I need to work on easing that in from the occlusion shadow here. I didn't see that before. Uh, but grouping is really important, okay? And I can't stress, you know, knowing where to group and where, um, for example, like, mm, I mean, like, like here, for example, I said grouping all in one shadow, right? Right here, grouping the shadow shape all in one shape. Um, and then here, grouping, you know, the shadow part of the orange all here, you know, kind of here, whilst kind of maintaining a light side, might need to refine that a little bit more. Um, you know, if you're painting a face, right, maybe grouping the shadow of the face to the to the nose, right, if it's half lit, all here, grouping that all in one, forgetting that there's a nose, there's eyes, you can even paint the group, the eye all in one shadow. That's grouping, basically grouping and simplifying. I kind of look at them all interconnected, right? Uh, but that's, that's what I'm always thinking about doing um, is how I can group more. And then through grouping, you're, you're pushing things, some things back and you're pushing some things forward, right? Um, so that's something important to think about too. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Any other questions? No, All right, I think we're good.